Have you ever wondered why we even have humans in the Federation? Said an alien to another in a bar. I mean, humans are a joke. By most Federation standards, they are diminutive, physically unimpressive, not especially astute, and blink out of existence in what seems like a heartbeat. They're not really good for much. The other alien, a seasoned Federation trader, chuckled. The humans are indeed all of those things, but they have qualities that many of the other Federation members lack. Yeah, like what? retorted the first alien. The seasoned trader leaned back, swirling the liquid in his glass. Have you ever watched them for an extended period of time? The first alien made a face. Why would I? They're so mundane. The trader's eyes sparkled with a hint of mischief. Precisely because they are mundane. Their planet is not rich in any of the galaxy's prized resources. Their solar system is pretty standard, yet they've survived cataclysms, self-imposed disasters, and managed to crawl out into space without any significant natural advantages. They've built their entire civilization on perseverance, adaptability, and a boundless curiosity. The first alien scoffed. Curiosity? How is that a strength? Tell me, the trader began, how many species do you know that would see a massive storm on their planet and move towards it? How many would dive into the deepest parts of their oceans just to see what's there, or decide to strap themselves to a rocket just to touch their moon? The first alien paused, thinking. Humans, the trader continued, are restless. If they don't have challenges, they create them. If they're told something is impossible, they'll try it anyway. While many of us in the Federation have become complacent in our advancements, humans are still pushing, still evolving. They never accept the status quo. The first alien pondered this. But surely such a trait can be a double-edged sword. Their history is filled with conflict, is it not? The trader nodded. True, their relentless drive has often turned inward, leading to wars and conflict. But even that is changing. As they've joined the Federation and met species like us, their gaze has shifted from internal conflicts to external horizons. And that's why they're valuable. But they have such short lifespans protested the first alien. The trader smiled. Yet they live each moment as if it's both their first and last. Imagine the potential if we, with our longer lifespans, adopted even a fraction of their zest for life. They remind the Federation of the passion of discovery, the thrill of the unknown. The first alien was silent for a while, observing a group of boisterous humans at another table. They were laughing, sharing stories, showing pictures from their various travels on a small device. Perhaps, he finally said, I've been too quick to judge. The traitor clinked his glass against the first aliens. In the vastness of the universe, everyone has something to offer. Sometimes the most unassuming beings bring the most significant changes.